Hello. Welcome to Talk to the Hand Reviews. How are you today? Thank you so much for coming to see me for the first time or for the for the 167th time. I think this is my hundred and no. This is my this will be like my hundred and seventy something like that video. Thanks for for thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Bold Reviews Lady. Today I want to talk about my little collection of English laundry fragrances. Well, my lovely ladies and handsome gents, that is not what ended up happening. I realized that I made some erroneous comments about some of my collection here of uh, English laundry fragrances, and I thought, I cannot share this. I'm going to look a fool worse than I normally do. So instead, I thought, hey, it's an eclipse today. Let's go check that out. Let's go out in the yard and and kind of see what we can see and look at some of the flowers and things like that. And then I have a fun surprise too that, um, I don't know, some of you might like. Okay, thank you. I thought I would show you my daffodils that are coming up. They're not quite ready yet, but one of my videos coming up, you're gonna see daffodils. And they're gonna be from here, or from one of the other places I have here. Today is the solar eclipse. Oh, it all, you're a model. But look at the little buds on the lilac. You can see it is so exciting. It's one of the early signs of spring, really. I got some potting soil and some mulch to put in my garden. I'm gonna, my husband and I are gonna be over here. If I can, if I can do it, I've been kind of weak, but see it, you can kind of see some of the tulips that are starting. And here's another interesting uh, patch of daffodils that comes back every year. There's like four patches here and they just come right up out of the ground like that. Like, oh no, we don't care if there's a bunch of twigs and stuff on top of us, but we still have a lot. Of soon it's gonna be the eclipse why am i doing it this way i should be doing it Flowers down there, on the side of the hill. They're like the first flowers you ever see. Do you see the crocus? One yellow crocus. That's really one of the very first spring flowers. in here under these big evergreens every year some of the first flowers that show up are these crocuses 
Aren't they beautiful? There's one over here too. They only last a little while. Well, they last a couple weeks, I guess. That's not really a little while. Oh, I see some more over there. One last crocus. Well, there's not too much going on in the rest of the yard yet. In the summer, this will be full of lupin flowers. It will, like, they will like take over. It's pretty exciting. So we're on uh, Eclipse Watch. It's supposed to start any minute now. We're not, I'm not going to record it, but if it gets dark, I'm going to show you. <laughs> It is Eclipse Day. It is Eclipse Day. The eclipse has started. It has... I'm not going to show you with my phone, but there is a little chunk of the sun that's covered up. My husband made a pinhole viewer and you can look into it and you can tell. It's pretty neat. Because I don't, we don't have the, the right glasses, but... Yeah, interesting. Happy Eclipse Day. So we're out here watching the eclipse and it's started to get a little bit darker. It started to get a little bit, a little weird, strange looking like they said it would. But it's pretty exciting. It's pretty neat to be able to sit out here and be part of it. Solar eclipse. I wonder if it's a common thing for people to go blind by looking at the sun. So it has gotten darker. It does look darker. And I think, look at that. The crocus closed up. It is definitely darker. It is very weird. You might not be able to tell. And they say this is, my husband said that's one more minute until the peak time. It doesn't, doesn't exactly look like through the pinhole. It looks only about halfway, but that's what they say. I just wanted to show you some of the ladybugs that live in my house. My house gets sort of overrun with ladybugs in the winter, some winters. But these are some little friends, and when I get them, I put them on this little Suntory Time uh, uh, coaster, and I give them a little pieces of apple and some water, and they sit on the apple, and some of them stay on the apple for days. But uh, just this way they get a little little hydration going and they are really cute. They're really funny. These little ladybugs, they are the worst stewards of their own best well, of their own well-being. You find them in the weirdest places. Like you'll find them sitting on a, like on a phone where you're going to grab the phone. You'll find them on your chair where you're about to sit down. The sweet little things and they're, they're really adorable. They could be really scared and running away. But if you put a drop of water in front of them, they're like, oh, water. And they'll stop. They'll stop running. They're really funny. I, I really, I really like them. Let's go in closer. Hey, guys. What's up? How you doing? Feeling cozy? Anyway, that's my ladybugs. And I've got, like, really thousands. This is just a small smatter, smattering of ladybugs. Bye. Look at... These beautiful Easter eggs from Dudley's. Had this package of, of Dudley's Easter egg coloring kit and uh, had it for actually a couple years. I, I got a bunch of them at once and we just opened this one this year for Easter and isn't that so cute that they have the butterflies that you can stick on. I just think that is really adorable. And uh, this year, it's it's late. I mean, Easter already passed like a few days ago, but our eggs are still here and still pretty, and I wanted to share 
what a lovely item it is. This little uh, Easter egg, this little Easter shaped basket is is an old, um, it's either a Teleflora or it's a, or an FTD container that I got when I was working uh, as a florist, as a floral designer, and uh, kind of pretty. I held on to it, and uh, that's all. Happy Easter. Hope you had a happy Easter. See you next time.